we've tried the bear crawl stuff. Where did you feel the swelling? Circumferential, certain spots? Mm, mostly like in this area. Let's measure today. Let's be real specific on just a above and below the kneecap measurement. Mm -hmm. You said functional bruise one? Yesterday. And that didn't seem to make you more swollen, so that's good. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel any pain. Three and a half and 35 and a half centimeters, right leg, left leg 32 and a half and 35, maybe a centimeter, mm -hmm. which isn't a huge effusion, but obviously we want none. So this is more undersurface of the patella, mm -hmm. kneecap. The theory would be you've got a gutter in the patella, you get any sort of lateral glide for any reason when you're hitting the guardrail. Usually one or both can be sore, you're not too sore on the bone, mm -hmm. but on the Undersurface the kneecap, so that could be where the inflammation came. Okay. You did something um, repetitive, even if it wasn't impact one time, maybe just repetitive, repetitive. Treatments would be lateral quad and bob head a lot of lateral quad yesterday. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's look. I want to look at quad flexibility, flip on your tummy. So I look for resistance, I look for what you feel, I look at feel touches. Is there a stretch anywhere? No knee pain, middle quad, not upper? Similar? Yeah. Okay, so that's good. And we'll look at one more test. We're looking for quad, we're looking for TFL. If I bring you in, a little bit of a stretch? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's compare the other side. Similar? I don't feel that. Okay, and not up here. A little bit up here. What'd you guys work on yesterday? Um, it's been the same thing, the, um, Mechanical traction and then okay. that machine. You can do it actively. That way you can control it. Just bring it to me just a little. Try to mobilize that lateral quad. And then it can be bound up. Traditional and digital personal training options, and new compressor size programs, Gold Gym has everything you need to get healthier this fall. Start your journey to a healthier, stronger you today with $50 off joining team. Oh! Let me shoot this idea. I just knew I was gonna bruise. No, you, I don't think I got a bruise. I was very careful. And I'm gonna smooth it out now. Well, if there's a little bit of agitation, it'll it'll have to calm. But what we want to do is stop the quacking. So if I reproduce a patellar grind, is that? So now I'm tilting that onto the ridge. That's not bad. Good. I'm trying to figure out my methodology. I'm thinking just a U underneath, just for some cueing. What is your experience with it? Hate it, love it, not sure. Sure, it's not me anymore. Yeah. Um, fire quad. Fire quad. Okay. You still need a cramp. Oh. Cramp? Yeah. Here, 10 centimeters equal. Okay. Which I haven't done that in a long time. One cent, one and a half here. And when you fire, a little, a little less. Of the muscular the, the sponge versus the rock. Okay. Um, but that's so far that this is good. That's good that that girth is there. Can we do a little bit with stem cuff just on this leg?
little bit of it is that quick reaction. Let's do a few where you're looking at it, but after a few, I want you to try to not look at it and just feel. Feel that contraction, be able to stop right where you are, because that's your starting block, that's your, that's your ballista. So whenever you feel that start, you should stop and work in that range. I don't really feel much of a difference though, so I don't know if that means more, maybe you need more resistance. So in that, I'll look for the on phase ramp up. Okay. It's about to be on. Ooh. Okay. And I've got this on a level five, so it's going to give a stronger contraction. So with this intensity, no mistaking it, you got it. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I'm going that long. Mm -hmm. On your short arc, that's maybe a little too long. Just little, little bits, little rocks. Mm -hmm. And you don't, you can be nice and slow with these. You know it's about seven seconds. You can almost predict when it's going to hit. About every time, you end up in about the same degree of flexion, so we're going to vary it. On the next one, I want you to do this oscillation at about 80 or 90 degrees of depth. Even if you're a little late to get there, if you're not in perfect position, just get there a little lower. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to die if I'm that low. Well, you're not moving much. It's just really a contraction you're holding. It's almost just doing like an isometric squat. You're just little, little rocks, little rocks. <laughs> Because that's about that's about 15, which is good. We want to do multi-angle. We want to get you to be able to get that position in your brain of what it takes to be in 90 and fire. Good. That's all you need. Doable. So let's go 90. Next we'll do 45, somewhere in between. And this one, you're going to focus on immediate stop. It doesn't matter where you are, just immediately try not to move from that position. So we'll do 90, 45, immediate stop. A minute and a half, you're good. Hey, you. Come back here. Six more cycles, maybe five. You're down. You're down the home stretch. Go all the way down. I'm going to do one more all the way down. So just go ahead and get in that position. Just stay there for the off phase. And let's hold one more on. This will be it. Good. Good, good, good. Release the pressure on that cuff. Was it more the stem, more the leg press, or more the cuff, you think, was your limiting factor? Um, the leg press. 